Nagi World TV have the baddest reviews them both yeah. Think a lie? Subscribe for tune in for the latest vibe. Backlash come. Stella I bug. Buto Tom. Bush. Yeah, my people come back to another episode of Nagi World TV. And first, yeah, I must say, time flies. Mm-hmm. Skilly Bang and Tavian celebrates Emal, their little son. First birthday yesterday, no jokes about it. You see me, I say no jokes, and it's really a good look. Yeah. Baby favor a father. You see me, I say sweet little baby. Not to mention a sweet little baby mother on the side, see, and what more can Skilly Bang ask for? A great career going. You see me? Everything intact and everything set. No jokes about it, my people. As I say, it's a good look. And uh, yesterday, it seemed as if they celebrate the young one first birthday. You see me? I say, no jokes about it. You see me? It's really a good look, as I say, my people. And that's all to Skilly Bang. For stand up to your responsibilities. Because you, you, you don't know you have enough man come like so in time. They find out how so they breed sitting. Come like they catch cold feet. Instead of them stand up and face the responsibilities, them run. You see me? Like, you see them bull down a beer jing. You see me? But as I say, hats off to the little young couple here. Mm-hmm. And it's really a damn good look, my people. No jokes about it. As I can see, the young youth that bouncing and happy. You see me? As I said earlier, time flies. I just yesterday this a baby a born, my people. No jokes about it. And yeah, baby, I celebrate one year in first birthday already. You see me? Those day I wish the little one more birthdays to come. And we hope Skilly Bing and Tavian um, lock down them one and the day. You see me? I say no jokes about it. Cause Tavian a real girl, you know, no jokes about it. In my opinion of her. Nice little girl. At least she's a lady. You see me? I just say a thing then. What more can a man ask for? You see me? Big up on yourself, you don't know the thing go. And more blessings and life man I send for no way. In other news now, my people. It has now been brought to my attention that the passport for the 13 year old fire victim is expected to arrive today, you see me I say? And will pave the way for medical care in the United States. This is a good look as you know. She suffered third degree burns, severe burns to her body. And as you know, we're on a burn, burn unit down here in Jamaica for really take on them type of things here, you see me? So, it seems as if either the government come in, come kind of take off some of the stress off of the father. Yeah, so, passport will come through for the 13th year where she will be flying overseas to get the best medical care needed. God is good. That, that, that alone me can see my people. You see me? I say, mm-hmm. God is good, man. You see me? As I say, my people, this is a good look. Uh, I did a pre, you know, say, oh, you know, if the government are really, if your father upon him own for really, foot them billion to try get assistance. You see me, I say, if you see of him that, but it look like, say, the government looking at themselves and I say, yo, we need to step up to the plate and do what is required. You see me? All we have to do right now I just pray and hope for your full recovery for this young girl and my people, you see me? No jokes about it because she have her future ahead of her, man, you see me? She have her future ahead of her and if the government so sure them can save the future there, you see me? Why not? Hats off to them for that, you see me? I say really sad to see me because you don't know say, the three other son them, them gone them perishing at the fire, you see me? Alright, now even though the government willing to assist the father with the thirteen year old girl, the father still got through with my people. You see me? No jokes about it. I just one of them things they still. You see me, but I'll just keep your fingers crossed and hope that the thirteen year old should pull through and recover to her full potential and ability, you see me? <laughs> and if I get the injection, and if I get the injection already, get a thing called colloidal silver and sea water and mix them together and drink. It forces the vaccine out of your skin. You understand? And you can go. So the prime minister get billions of dollars to depopulate us. And then after they depopulate us, 
the reptilian beings are going to kill him after. They did it with Christopher Columbus, they did it with Napoleon, they did it with Hitler. After all these people done the reptilian beings job, they them kill him. So Andrew Wallace, he is a mad man for death. If them even them miss me, you are going to because the reptilian beings do not want nobody with their secret to live forever. And they do not like us maroon people. So we are the anarchy. We, what you call black people, are maroon by our skin. So get a sovereign ID, my friend, and be free. And don't pay no tax, and then you can own your own land. Be free, and don't pay no tax, and then you can own your own land. Because none of you own a land. All of you live on crown land. But when you have your maroon documents now, you now live on sovereign land. Because we are the native of the land, not the queen. We are the sovereign. We shall have yeah. you. All right. Bless. Save. Save. Yeah. What clocks come? Skalai boom, bototom, bush. You know, I have said the bush that I represent for Nagirel TV. For all the scoops and loops, fans and troops, subscribe today and play. Waklax, come! You have to say so. Take it away.